Sunny Bonani, welcome to KwaZulu Natal, South Africa's province that has it all. Excellent geographical position, stable and effective governance, largely untapped environmental resources, unparalleled scenic beauty and biodiversity. A unique multicultural heritage, enormous human potential and resources, advanced industrial infrastructure, good water and energy supplies. Guazuru Natal is established around two of Africa's gateways to the sea lanes of the world. The ports of Durban and Richards Bay provide key competitive advantages, ensuring global market share for the province. The recent deepening of Durban Harbour and widening of the entrance enables the port to contend with the new generation of super tankers. Richards Bay Port and the Richards Bay Coal Terminal are currently being upgraded. These busy ports have resulted in highly developed economic and human settlement in the areas of the Etagwini municipality around Durban and in Utungulu surrounding Richards Bay. Durban is not only an investment capital, an international logistics management center and a retail node, but also a cultural, tourism and entertainment hub. Richards Bay is the industrial and tourism heart for the Utungulu region with an intense movement of people, goods and services. The N3 is an important corridor connecting Durban and Richards Bay. The next three years will see major improvements to roads and bridges in the region. The Nsezi Bridge on the John Royce Highway near Mbangeli was completed in 2010. At 1.2 kilometers long, it is the longest bridge in South Africa. The modern and bustling city of Peter Marisburg is the capital city of Guazulu Natal. The development of a corridor between Durban and Peter Marisburg has been identified as a key project. The land alongside the highway is regarded as high value by investors. Other important towns include Newcastle, Pine Town, Port Shepston, and Umhlanga Rocks. Central to Guazulu Natal's logistic development is the new state-of-the-art King Shaga International Airport, situated about 30 kilometers north of Durban city center. The second step of this development is the Dubai Trade Port, which is a catalyst for global trade and a portal between Guazulu Natal and the world. It is the only facility in Africa that brings together an international airport, a cargo terminal, warehousing, offices, a retail sector, hotels and an agricultural area. Duba Trade Port includes Duba City, a green airport city with hotels, office blocks, upmarket retail and entertainment outlets, restaurants and medical facilities, which will be developed at a cost of 5 billion rand next to King Shaga International Airport over the next decade. Further development of the transport corridor linking Durban to Gauteng ensures that Durban can supply the economic heartland with a variety of manufactured goods. The overall aim is to integrate land, air and sea transport. There are several opportunities for mutual advantage between private-public partnerships. These range from new locomotives to upgrading strategic rail links, building new stations, road restoration and increasing port capacity through a dig-out port on the site of the old airport. Despite being one of the smallest of South Africa's nine provinces, Guazulu Natal is a key component of the country's economy. The province is second only to Gauteng in terms of its percentage contribution to South Africa's gross geographical product. Four key sectors have been identified as the drivers of economic growth in the province. Agriculture and agri-industry, industry and manufacturing, tourism, services sector, including financial, social, transport, retail and government. As Guazulu Natal is South Africa's best watered province, it has a larger area of high quality agricultural land than any other province and is the national leader in several agricultural products. The Midlands region between Peter Marisburg and the Drakensberg is the heart of this high quality agricultural area. Attempts are being made to boost the province's enormous potential in agriculture into competitive advantages by utilizing all 590 bioresource regions to produce timber, vegetables, fruit and meat products for export. Moving subsistence farmers upwards into the first economy. Guazulu Natal's diversified manufacturing sector is the second largest in the country 
after Gauteng. The sector is geared for export, with nearly a third of South Africa's manufactured exports being produced in KwaZulu-Natal. In addition to the province's traditional sectors, like motor vehicles and components, clothing and textiles, there are massive growth opportunities in the following sectors. Arts and crafts, agri-business, information communication technology and electronics, food and beverages, furniture and wood products, petrochemicals. Some of the province's successes evolve around solid partnerships between government and the private sector, confirming the benefits of public-private partnerships. The mining sector, which includes coal, titanium dioxide, zircon, along with iron, steel and ferro-alloys, is important. There are many opportunities for small businesses in value-added initiatives. Guazulu Natal is now the market leader for domestic tourism in South Africa and ranks second in terms of international tourism. Known as the Kingdom of the Zulu, Guazulu Natal is a melting pot of African, European and Indian cultures. Many interesting sites have a colorful history of heroic people, struggles and wars. The Zulu monarchy of Guazulu Natal is the only monarchy specifically provided for in South Africa's constitution. Guazulu Natal boasts two World Heritage Sites, the Isimangaliso Wetland Park and the Ukatlamba Drakensberg Park. Apart from these, an extensive range of Big Five game parks and nature reserves ensure access to abundant wildlife and rare bird species. Superb world-class beaches are found along the entire Guazulu Natal coastline. The province has excellent accommodation facilities and wonderful leisure and recreation opportunities. ICC Durban has been voted Africa's leading conference center for many years by the World Travel Awards, showcasing South Africa's world-class conferencing capabilities. Durban is being positioned as the sports and events capital of Africa. The iconic Moses Mabila Stadium in the heart of Durban is a world-class multi-purpose stadium which is not only a tourist attraction in its own right but also the centerpiece of the King's Park Sporting Precinct supporting a wide range of sporting, commercial, cultural, retail and leisure activities seven days a week, 365 days a year. The province also plays host to some of South Africa's truly unique events among which are the Comrades Marathon, the Midmar Mile, the July Handicap, the Sardine Run, the Doozy Canoe Marathon, the Durban International Boat Show, numerous surfing competitions and many more. Intrinsic to socio-economic growth is the ongoing provision of basic services to all citizens such as housing, water, sanitation and electricity, as well as health and educational facilities. The importance of the small-scale enterprises to the economy must be emphasized. In addition to business support to SMMEs, the provincial government has aggressively promoted the establishment and growth of cooperatives to draw more people into the mainstream economy. Investment in KwaZulu Natal is encouraged by incentives, funding grants and low interest loans which are available from various sources such as the Industrial Development Corporation, the DTI, the KwaZulu Natal Growth Fund and the Itala Development Corporation. Participate in the success of this winning province.